Everyone, if you're not an influencer, you guys gotta go outside. Don't so I think by now a lot of people have commented on this. It was obviously a poorly planned event, poorly executed. They treated the members like trash. They treated the influencers like celebrities, which they're not. And it just created a lot of negative publicity for the gym. So instead of commenting on this, I have a little influencer related story of my own. So the year was 2019 and I didn't even have a TikTok. I didn't have music or musically, whatever it was. Um, I had like maybe, I don't know, 25K on Instagram. I didn't have a YouTube or a podcast. I had nothing basically, but I was somehow invited to uh, a douche cruise. This was the douchiest cruise I could have e ever hoped for. Um, but I was somehow invited and who was I to say no? It was a free trip to the Bahamas. So I took it and I could invite another person also for free. So I invited my friend Dan who owns a gym here in Montreal, Pump City Fitness, go there if you're in Montreal. Anyway, so we go, uh, there are lots of very known people and they're all very weird, very, very, very weird. Um, not only like just weird people, but they're also like weirdly antisocial, maybe shy, just, just not cool people. They, they, they're not the people that they portray on, on YouTube. Let's put it that way. So we were just doing our own thing. We were pretty isolated from everyone else there. There were the, the influencers who thought they were celebrities and they would just hang out in their own, uh, like little clicks while everyone kind of looked at them and watched them vlog. There were the lesser known influencers who still were pretty known and they were kind of nice and they would follow you back on Instagram like normal people. And then there were the ones like us who really probably shouldn't have been there because we really contributed nothing. Uh, but that basically we hung out with everybody who was like us. So we made a couple of friends and we hung out with them and watching the influencers in the wild was just really a, a, an interesting experience. But for some reason, actually for good reason, this cruise was a dry cruise. And I think there was one night or I don't really remember how it went, but anyway, there was one night where we were able to get drinks from the bar. Um, and so my friend and I were, were with all the influencers and um, they were like, you know, like 19, 20, we were, we were not, we were like, I think I was like 25. Um, but I was definitely, we were definitely the oldest ones there. So everybody's like 19, 20, 21. Um, and for some reason, all these huge influencers with 500 K a million, a million plus followers, nobody had any money. So my friend who owns the gym paid for everyone because these, these little like influencer children didn't have any money to pay for their drinks. So yeah. Next time you see an influencer acting like they're an A-lister, you humble them because influencers aren't shit.